So I noticed some requests that uh, people were wondering how to get big uh, base out of the Profit Rev 2. And here, I've got this uh, POS lead. Now, I wasn't even, that patch, I designed as a second layer to go on top of another layer, a Super J layer right here, where the Super JX layer would punch in some big fat bass sounds. So I'm gonna show you guys how I can use this. This is this this lead right here was just, you know, to add a little, you know, a little bit of grit and top end to that and make it like a, you know, something that's playable. Now a bit a big part of um, having big bass tones is you know your amp. That's like pretty much all it is. Like most analog synthesizers can punch bass, so you have to have an amp that can handle this. And I've I've been using this tube amp right here for years. You know I have these big speakers. I, it's stereo, so you know it's a pretty big speaker right there. And uh, there's two of them. There's one over there. And on top of that, there's a third speaker that I'm using. I have this um, Ampro speaker under here. And it's, you know, that it's a 16 ohm speaker. It's got a pretty big heavy magnet on there, so it can take a lot of force. Pretty much, it can, this system can pretty much handle anything that I throw at it, so. Here I am recording this video, and uh, I have it connected straight to a uh, computer also. I'm going to mix the audio from the video from the cell phone with that audio. You know, so you can get the sound of the amp and then the raw signal, and it's going to be mixed together. This uh, pause lead pad. I, I, I had I tweaked the uh, oscillators a little bit from the. Um, goes, sounds a little bit like this, but it's uh, basically two uh, pulse waves, modulated, and. Uh, this is what this is how it goes. So I'm going to turn on the, um, the computer interface. I'm going through this uh, right here, straight out of the amp tape outs. I'm using the Super JX to control, but as you see, it's not uh, hooked up. The Profit Rep 2 is the only thing that I have hooked up. and It goes into this mixer, which goes into that mixer, which goes into there. And there's no EQ. Everything's straight. <laughs>
track set up on the footer with velocity so you can hit the key just right to, you know, fill up the capacitors of the amp with, you know, the exact right amount of uh, electrons, you know, to get those big booming basses. system is and what keys you want want to play and how you want them to sound. I think I have the sub oscillator on, for this patch set at, it says, hey, yeah, it's pretty high. It's up, up there at like 120, but the uh, oscillators, that's D, I have it at E1, this one's at This one's tuned higher to C4. Because it's, it's a lead, so you know, I, wanted to, I wanted the two oscillators to kind of like sing. One of them to sing, and then, you know, one that's kind of like a mid range oscillator. But, you know, you can play the lower notes, it becomes a bass oscillator. I guess and the resonance 33 key amounts of big player here about the same so you know you, you're gonna want the filter turned down you want you want to close the filter that's that way you can fill up capacitors with you know bass sounds you know low frequencies and cut out those highs but you know, you want to leave some top in, in there for some sparkle, because uh, you get a good bass sound just by pressing that key like this. That's a good bass sound. I would I would consider that good. Like it's useful. Like, but I, every time I press that key like that. But you know, if if you want to change it up.
and then you can, you know, cancel that by pushing in more keys, you know, because the key follow. You know, there's a long attack on the filter, so that gives you some wiggle room with how you want the bass to sound. I mean, you can... Ooh. See, I'm even getting good bass sounds all the way up to here. So that, you know, that, that's plenty of room for playing bass right there. And that's, that's not even off a of bass pad. Like, that's a uh, pulse lead pad, pad that I made. Because that's that's where that's a sweet spot. It's how it sounds good. So, you know, you, I work off that. And for the purpose of this video, I think it works because you know you get, I'm getting good bases out of it. It's not even something that I made for uh, the bass. You know, it's a, the, the the Super JX was layered with that patch, and whatever the bass does coming out of that overpowered this. But, you know, I delete that S out of the equation, and, uh, you know, it sounds, you can, th there's still bass here, and it sounds good, like it's good bass, like good, useful bass. this thing probably like a hundred times I haven't even used it that much and uh, so you're just gonna have to like it's like it's a lot of work that you can you can get lost different things out of it and it's a lot of work you know if you have the time and patience to you know learn how to play and you know program and calibrate and recalibrate because that's what it takes <laughs> <laughs> 